seated straight leg hip flexion. This drill is mostly focused on rebalancing tension around the pelvis between the hip extensors and the hip flexors, obviously focusing on strengthening of the hip flexors. This is also a good drill for working on integrating the front of the leg in terms of hip and knee and how they interact with each other. And then this is also a good drill for those of you actually who are rehabbing the knee, especially something like an ACL repair, where it's very hard to find um, full extension in the knee. So this is a great way to get full extension in the knee and then start to get that strength integrated into the hip again. Now the setup with this one is very simple. We just want an object like a kettlebell here just to use as a hurdle. And then all you have to do other than that is to just be in a seated position on the ground. Now in order to execute the drill, the idea here again is to make the quads and the hip flexors work as much as possible. Keeping the pelvis tipped forward and staying as upright as we can in the lumbar spine is going to make the psoas and the other hip flexor muscles work quite a bit harder. So number one, the idea here is to stay tall, stay tipped forward in the sacrum, don't slouch into your lower back. Secondly, we want to make sure that we maintain knee extension the entire time so that the quad slash hip flexor group of muscles are all having to work hard together and that we're not tempted to slouch into our pelvis and low back to accomplish the leg lift.